What's up guys? My name's Jason. I'm type 1 diabetic and I also really love food. And that is a big no-no. And today I'll be reviewing Van Leeuwen's Mexican Hot Chocolate French Ice Cream. I had no idea that Mexican Hot Chocolate was even a thing, but apparently it is. And as you can see on the package here, it's made with Tapatio Hot Sauce. Now this is actually the last flavor in Van Leeuwen's current lineup of autumn seasonal flavors. So far we've had Honeycomb Ice Cream, Sweet Potato Marshmallow Casserole Ice Cream, Hazelnut Fudge Cookie Ice Cream, and Pumpkin Cinnamon Roll Ice Cream. And I've also shot reviews for all those other flavors as well, so you know, after you're done watching this video, you can go back and watch all the other ones. Now, I've said this for every video I've made about Van Leeuwen products, but it bears repeating. So far, they have knocked every single flavor that I've tried out of the park, including the weird ones. So even though I don't think in general a Mexican hot chocolate sounds any good, because it's made by Van Leeuwen, I now have high hopes for it. So let's do it! Now for those of you that don't know, Van Leeuwen has a little description about each of their ice cream flavors on the side, so I'll just read that right now. Nothing makes us happier than this Mexican hot chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream with marshmallows and fudge swirls. But this isn't the average hot chocolate you grew up with. This is way cooler. And by cooler, we mean hotter. Because we added Tapatio hot sauce. Now it's a fiesta. So just based on that description, we're getting chocolate, fudge, marshmallows, and then of course, hot sauce. Smells like chocolate. I should probably also mention that if this video looks a little off, it's because it's really cloudy and overcast outside, which kind of, you know, hinders the lighting that I can get inside my room to shoot videos. But hey, you have to work with what you got. All right, let's see if I can get a scoop of everything. I want the chocolate, fudge, and marshmallow in one. Yeah, that works. All right, Van Leeuwen's Mexican hot chocolate ice cream. Let's go. Surprise! Van Leeuwen makes another delicious ice cream flavor. While the chocolate ice cream by itself is very good, most of the flavor actually comes from the fudge swirls. The marshmallows also add a good bit of taste and texture as well. And then we have the hot sauce. And it's actually good! I will say though that when you're eating the first few bites of this ice cream, you don't really taste the spice at all. But then over time it starts to seep in there just a little bit. But when the spice does show up, it's really not all that spicy. Which I shouldn't be surprised at because lately any food product that claims to be spicy is just barely spicy in my opinion. However, in this case, I don't mind it not being all that spicy. Because I think if it was any more spicy, it would just take away completely from the chocolate flavor itself. So yeah, Mexican hot chocolate flavored ice cream. I recommend it. Now, as I mentioned previously in this video, the Mexican hot chocolate flavor is actually the last of the autumn seasonal flavor lineup. Which means that we have new winter seasonal flavors coming up. In fact, I already bought them all! Five bucks a piece, which means $20 for four pints of ice cream. Van Leeuwen, I love you, but you're f***ing expensive. We have marzipan cake ice cream, peppermint patty ice cream, brown sugar chunk with cookie dough and brownies ice cream, and then we have caramel sticky bun ice cream. So look out for reviews for all these flavors within the next two to three weeks. But let me know what you guys thought. Were you guys curious to try this for yourselves? Or if you've had it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And if you guys want to follow me on social media for whatever reason, I will also have a link for all that down below as well. And if you guys want to help support the channel, you can either like the video or you can subscribe. But come on, you can do both. But I'll also have a link down below to where you can help contribute to the channel. And if you guys do contribute, first of all, Thank you so much, but also just know that any amount that you contribute goes right back into making more content for you guys. But yeah, that'll do it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.